Well, hello everyone and welcome to Dirt Guy Drive Time, the only low carb traveling talk show on the internet today and we are darn proud of it. Welcome to the broadcast. Hey, today is Friday, TGIF, October 25th, 2019, on my way home from work, stuck in traffic and a sign back there that normally says from that point to another point is 30 minutes, it said it's 55 minutes. So, um, I have no idea when I'm getting home. <laughs> today <laughs> you know on Fridays I leave like a like 30 minutes early to uh because you know it's a long commute and I spend a lot of time working and just so I can get home a little earlier maybe uh, I think I'm gonna get home at the normal time which at least I get home and that's awesome sauce so you know on this uh <clears throat> this show you kind of well let me ask you a question you want the truth or do you want me to lie to you what do you want there's a motorcycle gang droning by motorcycle gang that's, is that the truth or is that a lie? Do you want the truth or do you want me to lie to you? Because, you know, on a vlog kind of experience, uh, it's all about talking about what's really happening. But in the entertainment world, it'd be like, and the encouragement world's like, hey, get her dead, boom, 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 and all that kind of stuff, you know? But um, I was thinking about that, that, should I tell you the truth or should I lie to you? And then I decided, nah, I'm not gonna be a liar. Nah, I don't like to be a liar. I try to be a leader, and leaders aren't liars. So that's where I'm at on that deal. But, um, you know, this this has been a, a long week, and, and I'm I'm pretty tired. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I'm kind of tired, frankly. And part of that tiredness comes from the uh, my video schedule I, I had this week. And the funny thing is, it, it started like two weeks ago when I had that superintendent's meeting on a Saturday. Lost a whole day a video production and uh, so I had to make up for it and um, you know and I did something on the my model railroad that took me a long time to do one little piece it took me 10 hours for about 10 minutes of video that I got to show for it there's an exchange uh, and it, you know what my ugh, God, my nose itch is sparky you're making my nose itch at about what my my time is worth <clears throat> that, I lost a whole lot of money on that deal frankly and uh, I'm not certain the um, the payback warranted it frankly and and actually on, on that note I've I made what I, th I think is my best modeling video to date it, it had everything it had great editing great flow great content great subject matter uh, camera work was uh, was really good uh, the music selection and volume level changes I think I nailed it, and I was so excited to show it, um, you know, to the model railroading community. And keeping in mind, I've got 10,500 subscribers, almost 600, probably by the time the weekend's over. <clears throat> 10,600, um, and just this lackluster performance, lackluster. It's it's not even mediocre. It's just sits there. Now, you know, some people should will look at a, a video be put out and go, wow, look at that, 2,200 views in in a day. That's awesome sauce, Steve. You should be excited. And you're right if I had 3,000 or 4,000 subscribers or if I didn't have a track record of hitting six or 7,000 views in um, in a couple of days, which means I should have about 3,500 right now. I don't. It's a little deflating. And the, the, the thing is, I, there's so many comments people have left just about how awesome it is, the work I did and all of that. And, and I, I really appreciate that. It's encouraging. It, it's good to know you put in that kind of time and then, you know, people appreciate what you did. But the uh, overall, the video is just sitting there. And the, the amount of time I put into it. When I could have been doing other things on the layout or hell, I could have been spending more time with my wife, which is my favorite thing to do, frankly. And then, uh, so so that's, I don't know, that's where I'm at with that deal right now. Um, kind of bummed out. But where I really make my money is my day job. You know, I'm a super duper intended. And f from what I've heard, I, and I don't know where the bar is drawn, but at least in my company, they think I'm a rock star which feels really good and it kind of motivates me to want to do more rock star status things and then of course tell everyone about it <laughs> so it's a little self-serving but uh, one of the things I think that's that's gonna have to happen at work is I really think I'm going to be 
called upon to sort of oversee a couple of additional jobs in addition to the one I'm running. And matter of fact, me and my team, we're actually making um, plans for that. Uh, the way we've got it structured where I can, uh, you know, miss a day here or there or uh, work a half a day here or there on that job. But then when I go to the other jobs and hang out with them, um, then there's going to be things I'll need to do in addition to all of that. I'll probably just do it from uh, my laptop at home. But I still got to put the time in. And so, all right, where's the time going to come from, frankly? And by putting that time in with my day job, this is a company that so far, I haven't even been there a year yet. So far, I got a significant pay increase. And with what they're talking about now, I will get another significant pay increase. And, uh, you know, I'm an American. I'm all about the Benjamins, baby. <laughs> so I need the money. I want the money. And I'm willing to put in the effort to do it. But then where does the extra time come from is what it boils down to. And, well, first of all, I'm not taking any more time away from Cindy, period. She already makes enough of a sacrifice, I would say, and has been for almost two years now. And to tell you the truth, I really don't want to take any time away from my hobby. Um, I love working on my model railroad. I spend a lot of time in there, and and my best days are the ones where you guys have seen some of my model railroad videos where it's just music and you're watching me work on the railroad. That's because on that day I didn't feel like um, putting on the the makeup and all the shit you got to do when you're on camera, you know. And uh, I didn't feel like talking and setting up cameras and lighting and five or six takes to get my dialogue right. I just want to work on my railroad. And so I still want to do that. So I guess what, what happens then is some of the ancillary time uh, is just going to have to get sacrificed. I think is what it is. I just think that uh, I'll still play with my hobby and my wife and do my day job, but I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to regularly anyway produce any more videos for my model railroad channel it'd be different if if the model railroad channel was paying me a couple thousand bucks a month then i wouldn't be making these end rows at work i would do what was expected and take the salary i have now and bob's your uncle uh get on with it at least i'm at home when i'm making the videos you know i'm not I'm driving all over southern california so if i could do that i would i don't want to give it up I'm not saying I'm going to give it up. I'm saying I don't know when I'm going to have time to do it. For a while, anyway. So, you know, there you go. That's that's what I've been processing and thinking about, actually, all week. And really, really heavy on it today. And uh, it's kind of got me, uh, yeah, not bummed out, but, you know, bummed out, whatever. So that's, uh, that's it. That's what I'm thinking about today. That's the truth. Uh, I'm not lying to you. And... Uh, it looks like another five hours or so before I get home. So I'm going to be pondering this a little bit more. But anyway, hey, thanks for spending the week with me here on uh, Dirt Guy Drive Time. And I hope you have an awesome weekend. And uh, I'll be spending my weekend making video for Model Railroad or Video Plus. Because uh, I signed a contract. And I have to. And I have a deadline. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll see you again on Monday. Uh, until then, I'll see you later.